Hey guys, welcome back to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Sherpo. In this lecture, we're going to see how to set up TypeScript in your machine. So to set up TypeScript on your machine, you have to follow or install a few tools in your machine. It's very simple. So to do this, you have to first install one IDE or code editor. It could be VS Code, could be Eclipse or whatever you feel comfortable. And next one, you have to install Node.js. So Node.js is the background or platform will help you to convert your TypeScript to JavaScript and then it will execute the JavaScript file. So Node script is very important without a Node script, you know, you can compile because the TypeScript cannot execute directly. You can run the TypeScript directly. You have to compile it to JavaScript. And the third one, you have to install TypeScript compiler. As I said, TypeScript cannot run directly. So all you have to convert the TypeScript to JavaScript, then you can execute the JavaScript file to get the output. So that's why you need a TypeScript compiler. Okay, so let's see, you know, how you can install or from where you can install VS Code, Node.js and the TypeScript compiler. So if you go to the Google and just type, you know, install VS Code, you can see there will be a bunch of results and you will find their official website, which is a code.bs Visual Studio. So go there and then from there, you can install as per your machine, whether for Mac or for Windows. It is a both are zip file. You will install, download the zip file and unzip it and then install, follow that, you know, the wizard. It's very simple. You know, it's not any rocket science. You can do it. And the next one, you have to install Node.js. So to do that, just it's the same thing. You can search on Google and then you can find their official website. And then, you know, from there, you can download as per your machine. For example, for Mac, for myself, I need to install this one, right? 64-bit dot PKG. If you need a guide through, it is a simple uh, walkthrough. You can install it and follow the wizard. But still, if you need a guide through how to do this, please go through our lecture we have for Cypress where we have what for you, how to set up your environment variable, how to install Node.js, all those things. So please follow this uh, lecture. I will put this link below in the description so you can find it. So after you install the Node.js, just please verify your Node.js, whether it's installed successfully or not. Just verify it to do this open your terminal for mac or for windows op open your command prompt so as a mac over here opening the terminal and then just type over here node dash b hit enter it will tell you your node.js the version number will install and the beside you can check your npm you know the number two so just type npm slash b it will also tell you the your npm version which is the node package manager so npm it comes with when you install node.js so it is a built-in comes with the node.js so you can have but it has a separate uh, version for uh, uh, for this node uh, you know the node package manager so you can verify that too so after you're done it's time to install typescript compiler so go to their official website you can see over here there's a few different way you can install TypeScript compiler. There is number one, you can see here TypeScript for a project. So if you want to use the TypeScript for any specific project, you can you run this command npm install. You know, this is the command. It will save on your dev dependency the TypeScript you will see. And then you can use for this specific project. We're going to use this code, this command, when we're going to, you know, do some Cypress, Cypress project, specific Cypress project for TypeScript, you know, in our upcoming future lecture. But for now, we're going to follow or install TypeScript as a globally. So you can install TypeScript globally and you can use TypeScript from any other folder, any other root directory. Okay. So to do this, you can run this command. Okay, so it's the same thing. Open your terminal and then you know type over here npm and then install install what TypeScript. 
TypeScript, and then you know dash g. So you are saying, hey, npm install TypeScript g. It means globally. Hit enter. And here we go. We got some sort of error. So error is saying, you know, permission denied. So to resolve this issue, it means you need an admin access, right? So for Windows machine, open your command from as an admin and then run this command. It will work. And for, for Mac, you all you have to do, just type sudo at the beginning. Then after that, you know, type the same command. The npm install, then type script, type script dash g. Hit enter, enter your password. There we go. Okay, so in your case, you will probably see install one package because I had already installed, so it's changed with the updated one and audited, audited two package, okay? So that's all the installation. So overall, just the three things you are going to install. Your IDE, which is the VS code, and then you install Node.js, which is the platform or background that will run or convert your TypeScript and run on JS file. And finally, the TypeScript compiler. So that's all you need. Please stay tuned. Our next few classes, we're going to do some TypeScript, you know, practice. It's like, you know, using the complete TypeScript using language, like how you declare some of the variable, TypeScript data type, create a class, object, you know, function or, or, or method, and then, you know, in inheritance, interface, some construction. So all those things, you know, you need to know before you write any code or do any Cypress project based on TypeScript. Otherwise, when we'll do the Cypress project, you will not understand all those things when I will use some variable because in in, in JavaScript, there is no type. You, you don't have to declare any, any data type when you uh, like create any variable. But in TypeScript, it's a whole different thing. So you will not understand those concepts if you don't have the background use cases of the TypeScript. So stay tuned, be patient, you know, have some background knowledge about the real uh, TypeScript command, and then we'll start a, a simple project, you know, using uh, TypeScript for Cypress. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot, and have a good one.